is Global Military Communications at Communicatia, where I'm talking to Kurt Biles of Region, who has an interesting history and pedigree in military communications. Kirk, you're here really in a, in a civilian capacity in terms of where you're taking the technology, but just tell us about your mesh technology and how it's been used by, by the US Army and others. Indeed, so um, about 13 years ago, we started developing for the US government this mesh technology uh, to be deployed in tactical units, um, basically in the field in Afghanistan and Iraq, where they needed to be able to communicate ad hoc between different vehicles and man-to-man -man communications. Uh, since then, we've deployed it many hundreds of times uh, on helicopters, tanks, uh, rocket launchers, and the such, using the, the frequencies that our U.S. military wants to use, and we've been able to change those up based on what they have uh, access to. So I suppose it, it's adaptable, sadly, if a vehicle is taken out. What you're saying is that the, the communications continues with the forces on the ground. Absolutely. So as the units are deployed and different things happen, you know, whether they're blown up or just taken out or more people are added, this technology prov provides an ad hoc connectivity using multiple frequencies and multiple paths all the time. So we never care if the units are moving all in a convoy or if they're being deployed all over the place. We'll make that connection and start passing data and make sure it always gets to where it's going in a secure manner along the way. I know that's still a very important part of the business going forward, yep. but you, you're here looking at how you might bring that into the industrial world. Absolutely. Uh, we're, we're so well proven in the military space with this technology. We've since moved into the commercial industrial spaces. Uh, we're mining, oil and gas, transportation uh, in particular, and then also some public safety around the region. So we're doing a lot with video and uh, just moving voice, video and data across the network and making sure that, you know, as assets move inside that network, we are the ones that continue to make that connection available. Great. Well, thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much.